okay. Hi everyone. I, I hope you can all uh, see and and uh, and hear us. Importantly, um, firstly, apologies for the delay in starting. Uh, technology here um, has uh, has not given us a good start. So, um, but welcome Great. to everybody. Um, so, there, Luca and Michaela are cousins and the fifth generation of Pellinis and they're the proud producers of Polini Limoncello. I'd also like to introduce to you uh, Matteo Z. Um, Matteo is the director of the Court Bar um, and that's where uh, we're live streaming from today in, in Rome. Um, it's a rooftop cocktail bar, as you can see, with a beautiful view of the Colosseum and the sun just ever so slightly starting to set in, in Rome. And it's certainly the place to go and be seen uh, next time any of us are fortunate enough to be able to hop on a plane and, and hop over Hi. to Rome. Hi, are you back? So, Luca and Michaela, I've just been introducing you and Matteo. Um, does feel as though technology is against us this evening. Um, Matteo, do you want to say hi and make us our first cocktail? So we are going to put some lemon in the glass. Here we go. And voila. After that, I'm going to add our protagonist, the famous uh, Pallini Limoncello, 40 ml. Here we go. So let's move a little bit with our bar spoon. And uh, how the bartender did in the past, we finished the cocktail with a bunch of Angostura. Here we go. The cocktail is done. <laughs> welcome to everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. We are very proud to have you here and welcome to Rome. Rome and its magnificent setting as the, uh, as you can see in our, uh, behind us, the Colosseum. Uh, Luke and I uh, will take you through um, the history of our family, uh, what is so special of Pallini Limoncello, how you make it, and what are the best kept secrets. Not all the secrets will be told, but hopefully enough to entertain you. Some I don't know. Some you don't know. Some only uh, our fourth and fifth generation, fourth generation. Luke and I are cousins and we represent the fifth generation of the Pallini family. Uh, Virgilio Pallini, our great grandfather, uh, so we're the second generation. Uh, during the First World War, uh, the company, so and also with Limoncello, uh, the company grew and uh, we cannot be in the city center of the Italian lands to the rest of the world. And we, uh, we Ah, you're right, and the accolades. Pallini was it's the most awarded uh, limoncello in the world. We have won a number of accolades. So over the years, Pallini has enjoyed a num uh, quite a success, also quite unexpectedly. You, have, you can see in the slide some of our fans. Last year, Rod Stewart was on TV on a UK show and was drinking limoncello from the bottle. Quite unexpected, really, really. Then you can see we were uh, also on uh, the Big Bang Theory. You can see a couple of images. Uh, also on a couple of movies. South Korea and the web series. Yeah. So let's speak a little bit about the lemon, what makes us special. Like every great Italian recipe, all starts with the right ingredient, which in our case is the beautiful Amalfi Scusato lemon. So what is special about this lemon? It's first of all the unusual size. So we can see this lemon can really reach the dimensions of a football, which is impossible to find somewhere else. Also, the peculiarity of this lemon is where it comes from, which is the Amalfi Coast. We were hoping to show you some images, but it's a beautiful coastline in the southern part of Italy, which is a, which is a, a, really, a really nice paradise. And uh, it's a mountain region, which is the reason, which is the reason why the uh, lemon groves are organized in uh, terraces that has been made by the local farmers. Also, what is special about these terraces is the soil. So the soil is made of ground, 
that, have, that has been brought from uh, all uh, around the Mediterranean Sea because the local farmers, while building uh, these beautiful terraces, uh, were also trading goods with all the confining countries. And for these reasons, they, were, uh, they had the chance to introduce this beautiful uh, and very diver diverse uh, soil uh, in these terraces. They and were actually famous to be traders. In uh, the 1600s, they would uh, sail all around Euro uh, the Mediterranean Sea and trade their goods and import their right. ground. So I would say that it's an irre irreplicable soil. So yeah. uh, terroir, as a winemaker would say. Uh, said as the French. And... Uh, it's uh, really beautiful, the result that we can see here. This is the Spusato um, Amalfitano lemon. So uh, given the peculiarity of these terraces, this lemon has to be hand-picked and hand-carried down the mountain, just like they were doing 200 years ago, when uh, the best technology, technology item they had was a mule to really carry all the lemons down uh, the mountain. It's also uh, pesticide-free and preservative-free. So Show it to the camera. We see uh, at the camera. So I also have a regular, normal grocery store lemon that we can uh, that we can compare with. We will see they are quite quite different. Also, the thing of the pesticide is very important because while we make an infusion uh, of, for the limoncello, it's very important that we don't have pesticides and preservatives infused in the limoncello. What do we use the, for the infusion? For the infusion, we use only the yellow part of the peel. So the, I don't know. It's possible to see on camera, but if you do like this, all the Mushroom. oils come out all the oils come out uh, and it's quite crazy it's like a lemon crying uh, so we use only the yellow part the white part is bitter the yellow part is where all the essential oils are kept uh, so we infuse this yellow beautiful yellow part uh, in uh, pure alcohol from sugar beet molasses and then we mix it with uh, water sugar and essential oils uh, um, extracted by other lemons. So the infusion time, you can ask Michaela, she's the only one knowing. I never got to get this information. Hopefully she never remember and she never forgets this information. Otherwise uh, we are uh, in a terrible shape. Luca, also show them how thin is the yellow skin. Let's try and peel. I yeah. can try and help you. Okay, try. I am not a good peeler, but I'm cutting this lemon because I want to show also another peculiarity very very low acidity and very sweet taste so this is the only lemon you can eat like an apple like they do in a multi so i'm gonna do it just like i said it the entire skin you see my face stays normal i'm not like doing like this i would do it with the other lemon which i'm not trying today Miguel, would you like to taste some yes please so and as we said we use alcohol from sugar beet melasse that it's uh, known to be very delicate, uh, very strong, um, and also gluten-free by nature. We make this beautiful infusion, and what we do different <coughs> from the others is also adding these extra essential oils. This helps with the balance, and this is the reason why the Pallini Limoncello is the, is the one that you pop the bottle, there is never ever gonna be another limoncello that smells more like lemon and tastes more like lemon. So I'm now, not sure that you can see in the camera, but the, the, the zest is extremely, it's extremely thin. Why is this important? It's because it allows the extraction of the oil to be pretty fast and immediate. So uh, you can extract all the good perfumes in a not too long time. Can you see, you can see the light coming through it. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing the camera. So, uh -huh. and this is extremely rich. I don't know if you, I can do this. Let's see this. No, you cannot see it crying, but it's actually, re it's really, really rich. So this is very specific. It's not the same of, of, in other lemons. Let's get to the real beauty though. Do you, do you want to try, to, try the, to see the movie again, Paloma? Let's see if it works. So well, I think that a virtual tasting has to actually need some tasting, first of all. Uh, how do you drink limoncello? As, as we said, mainly chilled after dinner or chilled uh, glasses in the freezer and bottle in the fridge. Um, what happened, but to do the tasting, we would need to do it at room temperature. This is the only way in which you can actually savor all the perfumes and the taste and actually the complexity of the flavors that we have in our limoncello. Okay. I am not sure if Paloma comes back and if we are still live. Paloma, are you back or not yet? Okay. Okay, so 
there's a real tasting note, we will have to start first of all from the color. Uh, I hope that other people in front of us have a limoncello bottle and, um, and so are able to do exactly what we're doing. So first of all, you can see the color. The color is a bright yellow. Uh, it's a golden yellow, actually, with the sun be behind it. Uh, Hi, guys. Can you hear me? I'm back. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, wel welcome. We have missed you. It's all very busy on the Wi-Fi in East Sussex tonight. I um, drink in Italy. I was born in Venice around 1919 or 1920. So we, we are going to make this with the Palini Moncello. So of course, uh, I love to add the ice after the Limoncello. Here we go. And we are going to finish with Prosecco, Italiano, the bubbles. So never mind your Aperol spritz, people. Um, give this one a go. <laughs> it's really tasty. Here we go. Look at the beautiful color of this drink. And uh, we finish with a touch of soda water. And of course, it's made with Prosecco um, because we're in Italy. But if you've got some fine English wine. all the ingredients. And we finish the drink with a lime uh, orange wedge. So Beautiful this is the drink, the Limoncello Spritz. Great. Thank you, Matteo. And uh, welcome to the court. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I have been to um, to the court and I highly recommend it. So as soon as we can all jump on a plane, we've all got to hop over to Rome. And, uh, and the court is really needs a visit. And Matteo is also a very gracious host, an incredible, good, uh, exceptional. It's really not only the location. Bartender, mixol. I don't know if you want to be called mixologist or bartender. Bar specialist. Okay. Thank you, and um, apologies again for the um, terrible Wi-Fi connection on my side. Um, perhaps next time we can all do this in person. So um, thank yes. you all very, very much for joining. Much appreciated. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. I hope Bye -bye. we enjoy it.